New tonight at 11, students and parents reeling from the punishment because of violence at a high school basketball game. So just last night, Spalding High School's varsity girls basketball team got into a bench clearing brawl during the state championship playoffs. It happened right on the court during the game. Now both teams were immediately kicked out of the tournament, all of them sent home. Here's 11 Alive's John Sherrick with a video. Their hoop dreams for this season shattered. Spalding High School's girls basketball team playing in the first round of the Class 4A state tournament against Wayne County Tuesday night. Suddenly, players from both teams began to fight each other, and then others ran onto the court. And both teams had to forfeit the game and leave the tournament, and they face further penalties. The Georgia High School Association's executive director, Dr. Robin Hines, proclaiming zero tolerance, quote, it was egregious, and we are not going to put up with things like this. The threat of sports violence so severe in Spalding County, fans were banned this year from attending regular season basketball games between Spalding High School and arch rival Griffin High School. In Lithonia in DeKalb County in 2022, a youth basketball referee was attacked after a game at a church by an angry coach and his players. And the players were the ones to start swinging. The ref received more than two dozen stitches. In a nationwide survey last year, 70% of refs and sports officials said sportsmanship is getting worse. We want to send a message, behave. A lawmaker from Minnesota, John Hewitt, who is a former ref, says enough is enough. He's trying to pass a law there to punish brawlers at sports events with more than just school sanctions. They would also face a fine of up to $1,000. We forget that this is a game and that it's, a, it's an experience for those students and you want it to be a positive experience, this is not a positive experience. For now, parents and students from Spalding High School complaining that players who tried to break up the fights are being punished with everyone else. But both teams are out of the tournament this year. No appeal. Their sportsmanship along with their hoop dreams. All a nightmare instead. In Atlanta, John Shearick, 11 Alive News.